Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to do another beef battle. Well, look at these beautiful cuts of meat. This is the Irish Hereford. And this is the Spanish Rubia Galaga. We're going to prepare these and then we're going to find out which one tastes better. We already fired up the Kamada Joe. Now we're going to set it up for indirect cooking. So we're going to put a plate deflector in and set the steaks up on the opposite direction of the heat. We're going to add a little smoke wood and then we're going to let it smoke until it reaches a core temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius. We first put on our Rubia Galaga. It's much thicker, so it needs a little bit more time. And then halfway, we're going to add the Irish Hereford. I just entered a thermometer probe into our Rubia Galaga steak, so I can check the temperature. We can see that we'll get a nice bit of color, and this is the moment where I want to add the Irish Hereford. Just gonna set this aside, make a little room, and now we can add our beautiful Hereford and quickly close the lid before the temperature rises up again. We got the barbecue set up to 140 degrees Celsius. It's smoking and it's slowly coming up to temperature. It's time, we gotta take the Hereford steak off. We're also taking the Ruby Galaga off. Look at that. Look at the beautiful color that the meat picked up. Mahogany red, light brownish. That's flavor, that's smoke flavor. Now it's time to start searing them on the outside. We're just gonna take out our deflector plate. We're going to put in a cast iron griddle and then we're going to sear them. We're just gonna open the vents a little bit more so we get enough heat on our cast iron half moon. Now, of course, we need something to go with our steak. So I'm going to make mushrooms to go with our steak and we're going to make a special sauce for that. I got clarified butter and we're going to let that melt. Of course, we need to add a little bit of flavor to our butter. That's why I'm stripping three tweaks of thyme. And we're going to add that to our butter. Our butter is getting a bit hot and I don't want it to burn. So I'm just gonna move it to another grill just to make sure my butter is okay. And this grill is much colder, so we don't have to worry about it burning before we add our ingredients. I wanna add a clove of garlic as well. And the fine chopped shallot. We'll add that to our pan. And a big tablespoon full of whole grain mustard. We'll put it back on the fire, let the onion and the garlic turn soft and let it melt together with the mustard. So it's time to start searing our steaks. I'm gonna put on my glove. We'll put this big boy first because it's got a nice fat cap and we'll use that fat to grease up our cast iron griddle. There we go. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now let's put on our Hereford steak. These are done, we'll let them rest and we continue on our saws and our mushrooms. So what I wanna do is I wanna use these spotted bellows. Look at that. And they look like dishes, right? So we're going to scoop out the insides and then we're going to fill them up with all kinds of goodness. I got a little bowl in which I can set them so they are stable. And I'm taking my spoon and I'm just scraping out the insides that I don't really need. But I do need that room to stuff it up with all kinds of beautiful mushrooms and cheese and goodness. To the butter, we're also going to add the insides of the portobello. We're going to add a few of these mushrooms and it's just a mushroom melange that you can pick up at the supermarket. It will do the job just fine. Just shred off the tops, add them in. The same here, we just can use our hands to shred these apart and it will be perfect for our portobellos. I'll put this back on the grill and let those mushrooms soak up all the goodness, all that butter, all that mustard and all the flavor that we put in. Of course, we do need to add a little bit of seasoning. So I'm adding some black pepper and a little bit of salt. We also want to add a little bit of salt on our steaks while they're resting. 
Before the mushrooms in our pan are done, we're gonna add a little bit of this beautiful soft French cheese to our portobellos. And when we put that butter on, it's going to melt and be beautiful. Look at how soft this cheese is. Nice, beautiful, powerful flavors. This looks really good. The mushrooms soaked up the flavor. Let's put them in the portobello. I'm going to set up a beautiful plate. Now, normally I would do this after we do the test, but this is just too good to wait. We'll put this on. Look at that. I want to add a little bit of green to that just to make it look nice. But I can see that the cheese is fully molten and the mushrooms, they look so good. A little bit of parsley on. And look, we got this nice rustic bread that we're going to use. Put the bread on the plate as well. And then we're going to slice into this beautiful Hereford. Look at that. Take that bone off. Then slice into it. <laughs> this is fantastic. Super tender, super juicy. That is just amazing. Now, of course, I also want to slice it into this beautiful Rubia Galaga. It's got to be amazing, right? Take that off. Now, this all looks fantastic, but we want to do a taste test. So I got a beautiful cut of Rubia Galaga, that we're just slicing up to bite size. There we go. Mm. It's creamy. You can definitely notice there's a lot of marbling in this beef. It really has that strong beef flavor. I'm gonna take one of those Hereford. I wanna compare it. Let's bite into this. Whoa, this is really weird. I need to recheck this. My expectations were, well, let me just retry. This is really weird. I expected the Hereford to be more like a grass flavor and the Ruby Agalaga to be that strong, full flavor. And you get that from the Ruby Agalaga, don't get me wrong. It has a strong, full flavor, but the Hereford is just much more beefy. The flavors are fantastic. And um, this is a more expensive steak. It's a good steak, it's a fantastic steak, but I definitely prefer the Hereford. It's really good, it has cream, it has, you know, right fibers, it has enough yeah, fat in it, fat content to make it juicy and tender. It's definitely the better steak. Give it a try, guys. And of course, before we finish this video off, we need to take a bite of these portobellos. Look at that. The butter melted, the cheese, got all the good stuff in there. Let's take a bite. <laughs> that is really good. Mm. Now let's put one on one together. Perfect combination. The portobello flavor is really fantastic, but you gotta make sure you have the right cheese for the job. So go for a high quality, creamy, easy to melt cheese, and then it's delicious. Well, that was a very unexpected outcome for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave me a comment down below telling me what you think was the better steak. Uh, I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that's supporting our channel on Patreon. And See you guys next time. Until then, keep on grilling and it's makkelijk.